Did you know that it's possible to make thousands of dollars in passive income selling printables on Etsy? And the best part is that the income you earn is passive income. So basically you create the product once and can sell it over and over again. And I'm super excited about today's video because I'm gonna show you how easy it is to create printable planners like this one using Canva, even if you have little to no graphic design skills. So make sure to watch until the end so you can learn how to create a printable and what file you need to provide your customers. Hi and welcome back. If you're new to the channel and you want to learn how to turn your passions into profits, make sure to subscribe to the channel and don't forget to hit the notification bell so you are the first one notified of any new videos. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, so here we are on Canva and I'm going to walk you through the entire process. So make sure to watch till the end. So I'm going to go ahead and cre create a design and I'm going to do custom size. And normally what I do is I change this two inches and I do width 8.5 by height 11. Now keep in mind, this is US letter size. This is like the standard size for printing at home. It's really up to you to provide whatever size you prefer. Um, obviously you can also provide different sizes if you want to as well. And from here, I'm gonna go ahead and start creating my printable. And I'm gonna do a to-do list um, printable today. So I'm gonna use this block to create a line going across up here, just for design purposes, just to make it look nicer. And I'm gonna change that color to one of my branding colors. I'm gonna duplicate this by clicking on the plus sign, and I'm gonna drag this to the bottom. So I have my colors right there. I just wanna do something simple that's not gonna waste a lot of ink for the customer. I'm gonna go ahead and click on T for the text. And I'm gonna do, I'm gonna say to do list. Obviously you could get as creative as you want with this, with the font. I'm gonna use one of my fonts that I purchased for commercial rights, which is really pretty. And I think I'm gonna use that one right there. So I'm gonna push this to the top. And I'm gonna put it right there. If you ever need to use rulers, you could just go to file. You could go to right here, show rulers and you could just drag them if you need them to measure stuff to make sure the center, et cetera. So you could do that if you ever need to. And now from here, what I'm, we're gonna be using today is very simple. I'm gonna be using the line shapes. You could just type up here lines. It's gonna give you all of these different ones here. I'm just gonna do the basic line here, this one, and I'm gonna push this to the top. Now keep in mind with the lines, you could go up here and you could change what type of line you want. You can make a lighter one, a darker one, a dot, like a line one, and then like the little dots. So it's really up to you. And then over here, you could change if you want it really thick or very thin. I like it all the way to one. So I'm gonna leave it at one. Now I'm gonna go ahead and add another line or I could duplicate this one. And what I'm gonna do with this line is I'm gonna just put it right in the middle. So I'm gonna go like this, and then I'm gonna kind of push it down. And then from here, I'm gonna, you know, extend it out a little bit more. So I like how it looks right there. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create lines right here. So I'm gonna first put my text, and my text is gonna say Monday, because I'm gonna do little boxes with Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. And I'm gonna show you a really cool trick that's gonna help you save so much time when creating these printables. So here's Monday right here. Now I'm gonna put lines right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab this one and I'm gonna, for the purpose of this tutorial, make it smaller. I'm gonna push it up. I'm gonna put it like right there so they have um, space to write. I'm gonna measure this. Yes, you can see the little um, pink line is showing up for me to kind of show me um, that is matching the one on the top. You can always use the ruler, right? Put it right there just to make sure. And I'm gonna make this line a little bit thinner again. So I'm just gonna go ahead and make it thinner. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna duplicate this. This duplicate and repeat makes the process so much easier. So I'm gonna duplicate it again. So here we have three and I'm gonna duplicate it again. And what I'm gonna do this time, I'm gonna put it up here. 
so four so they go right here they go right here here and here so I kind of like how that looks sometimes I take this away just to see how it looks and I kind of like how it looks so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna group this together so I could make this this planner a lot quicker so I'm gonna grab I'm gonna um, click down and I'm gonna drag my mouse only selecting the date or the day of the a week and then the four lines and I'm gonna go ahead and group so I'm gonna click right here group and then I'm gonna duplicate right here duplicate and I'm gonna drag this and put it right here I'm gonna duplicate and I'm gonna drag it and put it right here I'm gonna duplicate and put it right here and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make this line the middle line originally right a little bit longer so here we go and I'm gonna do the same I'm gonna duplicate this and put it right here make sure it lines up with the first one I'm gonna duplicate it and do it here and you're gonna repeat the same thing over and over and over now from here in order to change the date the or the day of the week you just click inside of the box and you could just change it and then you could go here and you change it and you see how it kind of went down what you want to do is go ahead and ungroup and then what you want to do is fix this and then well let's go back really quick all right so what I'm gonna do is when I do this one here because sometimes you have to play around with it I'm gonna go ahead and ungroup this only to see if it lets me yeah it did let me there you go Wednesday okay perfect now here I'm gonna put Thursday and you have to play with this sometimes like I just did right now like right here I'm gonna have to do the same thing so I'm gonna go ahead and ungroup I'm gonna click right here and then I'm just gonna click on the box only so nothing else is shifted around so Thursday Friday I'm probably gonna have the same issue with this one Saturday so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna ungroup I'm gonna click over here and I'm just gonna click on the box so the other lines don't get shifted and I'm gonna fix it Saturday I'm gonna do the same here Sunday and then this one I'm gonna make it into notes and what I like to do when I do printables I like to put the name of my store down here so sometimes what I'll put is let's say you have like your branding or you have your store name or you have an LLC sometimes I'll do this LLC and then what I'll do is I'll make this very very minimal so it doesn't you know stick out too much but just enough to kind of put my branding down there but as you can see this is actually ready to go this is how simple it is you could you know get more creative with it you could put little boxes in here if you wanted to you could change the colors if you wanted to um it's really up to you you could add flowers on the side but this is how simple it is and when you're ready to give this to the customer all you need to do is download it um, you want to make sure that you do it as a PDF print so therefore it's a high quality file and if you download it this is what you're going to be giving out to your customer when you sell it whether you sell it on Etsy on your own store um, but this is what you will be giving obviously you could get as creative as you want this was just to kind of give you guys an idea on how to create one if you like these type of tutorials let me know in the comments below if you enjoyed this video show me some love by liking and leaving a comment as well thanks for watching